So Jürgen, it's uh, obviously the first time we've spoken to you. So I guess first of all, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, it's a, a a typical time for all of us, but um, from a personal point of view, an interesting one as well because um, yeah, never had a situation like this. Never was that long at home, um, and so you know. From but from a personal point of view, I'm 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 really good, but. Like everybody else, uh, concerned about the situation around us, of course. As I said, it is the first time we've spoken to you, and you said there yourself, it, it's something that you know we've never experienced before. It, it's unprecedented. Can you you give us an insight into that last day at Melwood? So that you know the day when the kind of the team left Melwood for a couple of weeks. What was that? What was that day like? Oh, look, it's um, it's like this. It's it feels like it's. It's two weeks ago, but it feels like um, it's ages ago. We had um, that we played Atletico. That uh, Thursday was off. I remember. I remember. So we all knew about the situation with Corona around the world, but we were still in our tunnel, if you want. Um, didn't really until then. It didn't really arrive in our mind here in England. Um, and so we played the Bournemouth game on Saturday. We, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, we won it. Um, Sunday, City lost. So the information for us was two games to go, two games to win. Um, and then we on Monday morning, I, I woke up and heard about uh, the situation in Madrid, um, that they closed from Wednesday on the, the, the schools and the universities. So it was really strange to, to prepare that game, to be honest. Um, I usually don't struggle with things around me. Like I can build barriers right and left when I when I prepare a game, but um at that moment it was really difficult. So Wednesday we had the game. I, I loved the game. I loved what, what I saw from the boys. Um it was a, a really, really good performance with the result and we didn't score off enough, we conceded too many, that's all clear. But between these two main informations it was a brilliant game. Thursday off uh and Friday yeah, when we arrived, it was already clear this is not a session. This will be, uh, uh, yes, we trained, but it was um, uh, yeah, a meeting more. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we had a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to think about, things I never thought before in my life about. Um, nobody knew exactly, nobody knows exactly how it will go on. And um, so the only thing what we could do to organize it as good as possible Um for the boys um, and make sure that everything is sorted as much as we can sort it in our little space, in a little um, uh, area where we are responsible, really. And that's what we did in a very short time. And um, yeah, then we sent the boys home, went home ourselves, and um, here we are still. You've given a lot of team talks and you've spoken to a lot of players, a lot of teams in, in your career. but. Obviously, I imagine this one was was much more difficult given the circumstances. Yeah, usually I understand much more um, of the things I'm talking about, to be honest. So uh, how could I explain the situation about around Corona? No chance. Um, it's that. Look, I'm in my in my in my job in my life. Um, I, I face a lot of problems, completely different problems to the one we have now, but problems anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm completely solution oriented person. I'm not really interested in the problem usually. I take it as information and I, I immediately work on the solution. Um, and in this case, no chance for me, no chance for anybody in the, in the short term. It will be sorted. We all know that, uh, but not in the short term. So how, what, what could I, what could I really uh, know about? Um, and so, yes, the meeting was, um, I had the same amount of questions like the boys couldn't answer. Um, and But we, we, we did meanwhile. Eh? So um, we spoke a couple of times. We have uh, uh, a really intense, um, big, big group chat. Whole Melwood is in that. Boys are really lively in that. Boys are really, um, yeah, uh, they're just interested in what everybody's doing, com uh, comments to everything what anybody's doing with oxys on instagram or whatever um so that helps a lot then so we are 
we, we, the mood is good. The mood is good. Um, it's a, how is it, a challenge for all the people, and we know, we know it's um, that we live, of course, in a in a in a very um, uh, that our life is still good. There are so many people out there that have much bigger problems. So it feels really embarrassing to myself if I would talk about my my problems. I don't have any. I have the problems every person in the world has in a moment, and that's the the lesson we learn. In this moment, five, four, five weeks ago, I think we all thought, or it looked like pretty much a lot of countries thought, that's our problem, that's our problem, that's our problem, we have problem with them and stuff like this. And now the, the, the world or the nature shows us we are all the same and we have all the same problem in the same moment and we have to work together on a solution. So there's nothing good in that situation apart from maybe uh, what we can learn from that. Obviously, on, on that Friday, you put out a message to our supporters and within the letter you stated that health is much more important than football. Obviously, you would have been going through a range of emotions that day, but you felt it was the right message to send? It was the only message to send um, because it's, I think it's common sense. It's common sense, but I understand, uh, again, I understand very well that I'm a football manager. That's the job I always wanted. It's in a, in a from the outside perspective, it's a big job. People expect us to be leaders, smart stuff like this. <laughs> in, maybe a few of us are. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but um, it's more it's more important in in this moment. Uh, I spoke as a yes, as the manager of LFC, but as a as a completely normal guy as well. Because uh, in this moment, even when football is my, in a lot of parts of my life, it was my first concern, but not in this moment, not in this moment. And um, I wanted to make sure that people know that and maybe they can see it in the same way. Um, in this moment, uh, we have the chance as a, uh, as human beings. Okay, let me say it like this. If we, in, in, in the future, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, if we look back, um, and we will look back, and if then the conclusion or the, or the, the, the resume would be, this was the mo that was the period where the world showed the biggest solidarity, the biggest love, the biggest friendship, whatever, um, that would be great. That would be really great. And um, so in the moment when you go through a, through a phase or a period like this, it's not possible to see that, especially not for the people who are ill and stuff like this. But there will be a point in the future, a moment in the future, when we look back and then um, hopefully we can see it like this because that's the solution for it. We all have to be disciplined. We all have to work together. We all have to take care for each other. And um, that's the solution for this problem. And um, that's why we are at home. Not all of us. A lot of people are working out there still, um, health services in the supermarkets, incredible. Um, all these people uh, are doing the jobs, police um, and uh, thousands, um, to make sure that we can stay at home. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, all these things. I just wanted to to use <coughs> common sense to um, uh, once more, once more, yeah, to explain to explain my view. Just. Uh as a human being, how much admiration do you have for those people who can't stay at home, who are out working? Yeah, I couldn't. I, I, my English is not good enough. My English is just not good enough to 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 say it. it's extraordinary. It's 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 um it's great. Uh, I know. Um, I think yesterday uh, was it yesterday? Matt McCann sent me a video of the of the people in the in the hospital. Uh, on the one side, the people were, were outside, probably the the intense. Uh, intensive care area and when they're saying you never walk alone I I started crying immediately it's unbelievable and but it shows everything these people don't only work they have such a such a good um, spirit they are used to help other people uh, and we need to get used to it because usually we we have our own problems and all that stuff so but they are that's their job they do it day in and day out and they they that's the morning in the morning they go in they don't they are not ill by themselves they are not in danger but they bring themselves if you want in danger because they help ill sick seriously handicapped people and stuff like this so i i couldn't i couldn't um admire it more really i couldn't 
and uh, uh, appreciate it more. Just a little bit closer to home. Uh, you're talking about how you, you know people are still going to work at, at the club. We have two kind of community <laughs> initiatives. We have the LFC Foundation and, and the Red Neighbours. Obviously, how they interact with the community has, has changed drastically, but they're still doing everything they can to support the community, and it's something special for the club, isn't it? That. Look, I think that in the moment, a lot of wonderful things happen out there. So we as a club, we have to do, we have to do one for this club. Is uh, We all know, we all know. This, it's, <laughs> fans of other clubs will not love it, but this is a special club. This is uh, uh, special people working here and all these kind of things. So um, I'm, I'm not surprised that we, that we um, react in a lot of moments um, uh, very, very, with a big heart. And, and I love that. And um, all these things, what the, what um, all these different um, parts of our club did over the years, if it's a foundation or other or food banks or stuff like this, that that's incredible. But I know other clubs are doing it as well, and just the football clubs show responsibility. I like that really. I like that a lot, and um, that's what we all do. That's what we all do. As we have to, yeah. In a moment, in, in in moments like this, the first thing you have to be is generous, generous with words generous with feelings and generous with money of course as well and that's what we all do that's clear um wherever we can help we try to help 100 percent. just a word on on your backroom staff obviously you've always spoken about how important they are to, to everything we do as a club and you know i can imagine this is just as much of a test for them as it as, as it is for anyone else at the club what can you say about in the way they've reacted and adjusted to this situation first and foremost foremost one i have to say not only background stuff i miss everybody i just miss everybody it's two weeks and i'm not on ho- holiday so um usually you are then somewhere i don't know and um that's not the moment where you miss your <clears throat> the the background stuff or your, your your colleagues stuff like this but at the moment really desperately we miss each other we really like working together and um, we are, have a lot of contact with uh, in whatsapp groups and, and phone calls facetime whatsapp whatever um, so we see each other a lot but not <laughs> like we want to or like we are used to um but they do still an incredible job so that um, what mona and emma is doing um, and together with our with all the, the chefs we we still involved so we have to we we have the boys it's look Yes, we have all the same problems, but there are some special problems on top of that. Um, is that we have the players, and it's difficult for football players. Like it's difficult for me to go just normal shopping. So we have to shopping in a in a food shopping. Huh? We have to social social distancing. We try that. So we have to organize it. What Mona is doing there is incredible. It's just incredible. Well, more really, it's highest level. I cannot, I don't find the right words for that as well. What Corny is doing with the um, with the fitness guys, what how how um, inventive they are with different things. What we can use, of course, we do the stuff as well. Like we're all together, do the same thing in the same moment. It's all possible, technical wise. Meanwhile, eh? um, but they have their own program. They send videos. They give challenges and all that stuff. What uh, we had a we had a difficult situation in the in the medical department as well, and we changed. Um, Andy Messi left f- to the FIFA, um, and then um, Jim um, Moxon is, um, jumped in, if you want, like from nowhere, together with with Sarah Lindsay. They are doing an incredible job and and getting all these informations. You can imagine, you go, you go in isolation. You heard, you hear from outside. So the first sign is maybe a sore throat. The first sign is a little bit of a headache. So who can say he didn't wake up the next morning after getting this information and felt a slightly sore throat and felt a slight headache? That's like how human beings are, and we had that as well. And so <laughs> these kind of things. And then you call a dog. You are used to call a dog in these situations. So they had to calm down. Lee Richardson, the psychologist, of course. Um, um, all the yes, the physiotherapists are not that busy in the moment, hopefully, anymore because it's not allowed that they go in and, and, and do the stuff with the players. But they are all doing. Um, Ray Huff organized all the stuff around to, uh, around to, together with Louise. So it's just really in, in, incredible. So we are we do still the same without meeting and without training together. And of course, um, it's what we love to do. But we we respect. 
absolutely uh, 100 percent the situation and um, want to play our part in it just on the the whatsapp group you mentioned earlier and and the social media posts being put in what have you made of some of the things the lads are doing to keep themselves entertained <laughs> obviously we've seen millie, millie cutting the grass we've seen ox dance and it's been um, quite amusing <laughs> I, I, yeah i didn't cut the grass but i tried to dance of ox um yeah. How was it? Worked out. Um, yeah, uh, not as bad as you probably think. Um, so look, um, very important in these times that we all show we take the situation serious, but we cannot do it without we are human beings. In a moment, we are um, at home, and uh, when you are at home, you cannot do something to help outside or whatever. So we are not health workers. We are not. We don't work in a supermarket. So, so you have to keep. Your, mo- your own mood up and you have to keep uh, the mood up for other people and if the boys do anything on Instagram as long as it's in a <laughs> in a legal frame I'm overly happy about that this just shows they, they, they have chill they are still uh, cheeky and, uh, and all that stuff and, and I like it so these all these things are really funny um, yeah that's good on a similar note I know you're not on social media but you've said in the past you, you kind of like to look at fan videos of you had a little look at some of the things on online from our supporters. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, what kind of videos? I saw that Paul had, is has Corona, right? Sorry, from uh, Paul has Corona from um, Redmond. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I heard that if I'm right. Yeah. So he, or he was at least really ill. So I saw that a little bit, but no, I didn't watch a lot of videos. Um, I watched a few movies. I watched the Taken trilogy again. <laughs> um, to be honest, that's how it is. You do a lot of things what you usually don't do, um, and um, that's it. I'm still in that period. It's two weeks is long, but it's not that long. And um, so, um, but which kind of videos did they did they do? Um, I, have to, I have a look afterwards. Yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, compilation videos and and people bringing together kind of everyone's goals and. Just all the best moments of the last couple of years, because you know, it, oh, people are reflecting. I have them. I have them still here, so <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget the best moments we had in the last few years. So um, um, I'm complete. I'm, I'm up to date, if you want. Yeah. And just, just lastly, Jürgen, obviously, you know, it goes without saying we we all miss football right now, but it it's absolutely crucial that everybody follows the government's advice, isn't it? And and that's the most important thing right now. So we said it now often enough, and I think everybody knows it. Yeah, football is not the most important thing in the world, 100%. Not. In this moment, it's clear what it is. But the only way to get football back as soon as possible, and if that's what the people want, the more disciplined we are now, the earlier we will get piece by piece by piece our life back. That's how it is. There's no other solution in the moment. Nobody has another solution. We have to. We have to be disciplined by ourselves. We have to to keep the, the the distance to other people. We can still do some things, not a lot, but we have to just to 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 calm down a little bit with the things. Yes, outside economy has to carry on stuff like this. That will start again. But the more the the the, the lower the number will be when we go out again, the number of the people who are infected. That's what I understand the better it is. It will not be like nobody anymore after the next two weeks, but the number, the curve will flatten. That's the most important thing. We have to give our people in the hospitals, our doctors, the chance to treat the people with serious issues um, with full concentration. We have to give people time to build ventilators. We have to give people time to find solutions. There will there will be a moment when when other smart people find uh, a vaccine for for the for the for the for the virus, um, and the, all these moments. But until then, we have to make sure that we we do the best possible for all our for all the people out there. You hear now more and more. It's not only elder, not only weak, and all this stuff. If it would be only elder, would be only weaker. We have to do what we have to do. But it's not only there are um, younger people involved as well who can die of it as well. So, but it's not about that. It's really about just show heart and a bit of sensibility um, and do the right thing. Stay at home as long as we have to. And then at one point we will play football 
again as well, 100%. I couldn't wish more for it because for a few <laughs> really good reasons, how you can imagine, uh, I can't wait actually, but even I have to be disciplined and yes, I try to be as much as I can.